What up, YouTube? Timmy was here. Here is my review for Netflix's new film, The Boys in the Band. Now, this is actually, you know, uh, this is actually based on a uh, um, play as well as a feature film that premiered back in like uh, 1970s. And uh, and this film actually, uh, and the Broadway actually uh, got a revival um, back in 2018. So the uh, so the film version of the Broadway musical actually uh, pretty much returned uh, back, you know, uh, back the uh, Broadway uh, actors, including Jim Parsons, Zach Aquino, Matt Bomer, and all. And the film is uh, is actually written by uh, Matt Crowley, who tragically passed away um, this year. And it's also uh, it is actually directed by uh, the same the same guy who directed the uh, you know um, who directed the Broadway revi uh, revival. And this film, you know, really captures the uh, dance shocking voices of a, a group of uh, of gay um, of gay men in uh, New York City. Uh, and it was written in the, uh, and of course, uh, this film, you know, took place during the uh, Stone War riots and all that. And so you got all uh, these uh, group of uh, gay um, men who decides to uh, pretty much uh, like throw a party, uh, and uh, and uh, pretty much the head behind it is uh, is this guy named uh, Micah portrayed by uh, Jim Parsons, who. By the way, uh, Jim Parsons. When you think of Jim Parsons, you really think of him as uh, as Sheldon Cooper um, on Big Bang Theory, and all. The guy is showing he's more than just uh, he's more than just that Bazinga guy from Big Bang Theory. After seeing him, you know, pop up in uh, Ryan Murphy's uh, series Hollywood, uh, even on that Ted Bundy film he did last year, extremely uh, loud and crap, um, extremely a uh, wicked, shockingly evil vibe film. Uh, after seeing him this, Jim Parsons is probably not, it's definitely not uh, Sheldon Cooper no more. This guy is showing in some really solid performances. And I, like I gotta say, I thought he was terrific here. Uh, you know, he is, he, his character is, I guess, say, a tad bit of a uh, drunk, you know. But I still thought he was terrific here. Uh, you got some of the other uh, cool, um, mates like uh you, know, you got uh, andrew ronnells who's gonna be seen in the upcoming netflix's uh film of the prom uh you got michael ben uh benjamin uh, washington uh zach aquino and matt uh, bomer are both good in this i mean it is a uh, film featuring like it is a uh, lgbtq film featuring actual uh gay actors which i think is pretty cool because there's not really many films like with a or um with like a uh, or, um, actual gay uh, cast, and I thought all of them were really solid here. Uh, you also got uh, Charlie Carver, who's of course gonna be seen in Matt Reese's upcoming Batman film. He was pretty good here. Uh, I thought all of them had some really solid chemistry with one another. Yeah, this does feel a bit feel like a um, Ryan Murphy um, production, to be honest. Yeah, but I mean it. Uh, probably because Jim Parsons in it and he was just in Hollywood so that's why I think that feels uh, very Ryan Murphy but anyway I guess I, I thought it was um, The Boys in the Band was pretty solid uh, had some really you know had some like I said had some solid performances here uh, Parsons you know Bomer Quino were all really great uh, the script was pretty decent. It was about, it was a tad bit slow at times, but I guess you'll expect something like that from, uh, from a film like this. But that aside, I say if you guys have not really seen The Boys in the Band yet, it is on Netflix. I say give it a shot. I think you'll enjoy it. Anyway, uh, let me leave you guys. Did you have a chance to check out Netflix's The Boys in the Band? If so, what story? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Ever seen like the original film that's based on, or even the Broadway um, that's based on? Drop comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for more notifications. This is Simu Sion.